that rap was a thing and kept spamming tackle. Ah! Hello, my lovelies. My name is Lekka. Today, we are going to be doing a mono water type hardcore Nuzlocke on Pokemon Blue version because blue water. It makes sense, okay? It makes sense. So, rules for a hardcore Nuzlocke. If you guys are curious about what those are, they're going to be in the description below so you can just read them. But uh, basically, you have to catch the first Pokemon on every route. You can't go looking for specific Pokemon since I'm going to be doing a mono water lock. I'm only going to be allowed to catch the first water type Pokemon in every route I catch, and if a route doesn't have any water type Pokemon, I can't catch it. Uh, I can't overlevel past the ace of the gym leader. I have to nickname every single Pokemon of a Pokemon face that's considered dead. And I have to have the game on set mode so that I can't be told what Pokemon's coming out, and I have to just deal with it as it comes across. If you guys have any other questions, again, link will be in the description, but let's get on into it. Obviously, our name is going to be Lekka, and our rival's name is going to be Twitch because we're on YouTube, and I just feel like that's fitting. Starting off the journey, playing our NES. Okay, it's time to go, as is tradition. All right, bye, Mom. I've got to go take over the world with just water-type Pokemon. All right, and I've named my Squirtle Purple because we're doing blue version, so, you know, it only makes sense that we name our Pokemon after all the other colors that we have going on here, and now I've just beat the shit out of Twitch. Perfect! Hopefully the rest of the game goes this season. Now, obviously, there are no water-type Pokemon on the first route, so we're not going to be able to get our first encounter for a little while. Also, the Nuzlocke doesn't even start until we get Pokeballs anyway. But that's just something I want to point out to you guys. The only thing that's going to be potentially difficult about this is the fact that because I only have purple with me right now, I don't have any other Pokemon, and I can't overlevel in a hardcore Nuzlocke past the Gym Leader's 8, so I can't get past level 14 on purple, because if I do, then I have to restart the Nuzlocke because I can't do it, and I would end up in a lock. So we have to get through this forest and get to the gym without over leveling past 14. So if I can just defeat all the trainers in here, get to 14, beat the crap out of Brock, and then get ourselves going on to Cerulean, we should be okay. Also, just as a small aside, I think it's fantastic that they have a trainer that's just set out here, specifically so that if you're trying to move on to the next area, they're like, yo, dumbass, go back to the gym and do it again. <laughs> you can't leave until you have Brock's badge. I'm Brock, I'm Pewter City's gym leader. I believe in rock hard defense and determination. That's why my Pokemon are all the rock type. Do you still want to challenge me? Fine then, show me your best. I will and I will beat you because Purple and I are unbeatable. All right, boom, and that's a bubble done. <laughs> Easy, and we're level 15. Boom, and we got the boulder badge. Nice, easy peasy, freaking fracking done. Moving on to the next one. I forgot that rap was a thing and kept spamming tackle. Ah! Okay, let's beat Brock a second time because I can. <laughs> so we meet again, Ekans. This time, I'm prepared. Get the fuck out of here, Ekans! Now I can go ahead and have I got a special deal for you. We can get another freaking fracking Pokemon so that I don't have to worry about overleveling Magenta. You know what? Let's name it Green. A Green Gyarados seems kind of interesting, you know? Oh, there it is. Beautiful. Mwah! We have a Green Gyarados. It's everything I ever wanted. I love it. Oh, and we have Bite. Of course. Love it. We don't want to upset the Helix God, so obviously we're going to pick the Helix Fossil, because... Omastar is just the almighty. Hi! Trainers who want to have turn pro have to have a policy about Pokemon. What's your approach when you catch Pokemon? My policy is an all-out offensive with water-type Pokemon. <laughs> it's almost like we're doing the same exact thing, Misty. I may or may not be doing a mono water-type hardcore Nuzlocke, so, you know, we're a little more similar than you would like. I would love to have Star you on my team, though. I only have two Pokemon, and it's very hard not to overlevel, but you know what? We're gonna make it happen. I'd love to bite you and, uh, absolutely destroy everything that you hold dear. Perfect! Awesome! Got to level 21. We get to increase the level cap. We got Misty. Wow! You're too much! All right. You can have the Cascade Batch to show that you beat me. Amazing. All right. Keep it on rolling forward! The thing is, the new level cap for getting to Lieutenant Surge is 24. And what that tells me is I'm probably gonna end up having an over level on 
at least one of my Pokemon, and I'm just going to have to box them and only fight Lieutenant Search with one Pokemon, which is really scary and makes me realize that this Mono Water Challenge is actually a lot harder than people give it credit for. Uh, and by people, I mean myself. I definitely underestimated it going into it. Now that I'm playing it, I see that it's a lot harder. Mostly because you can't overlevel with the Hardcore Nuzlocke rules. And if you do, you can't use that Pokemon until the level cap increases. Oh, thank God. Okay, I was trying to be super duper 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 careful. Because now, what I can do is both of them are level 24, so we're not beyond the level cap yet. So I can use both of them in battle, and I didn't have to battle any of the trainers to potentially avoid them from being used here. Yes! Alright, let's go! Hey, kid! What do you think you're doing here? You won't live long in combat, that's for sure. I'll tell you, kid, electric Pokemon saved me during the war. They zapped my enemies into paralysis, the same as I'll do to you! Alright, Lieutenant. See if you can back up those words, good sir. I'm going to assume the answer is, uh, you're definitely not going to be able to back that up. I got Bubble Beam on my side. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Sonic Boom. Well, that's cool and all. Uh, I am so much stronger than you. Dragon Rage? Oh, that's a guaranteed 40 damn Arena. I like that. Let's go, Green. Heck, freaking yes! Alright, Raichu, you sassy Sue. How much do you... Oh, because I'm four times weak. Oh, no. I didn't even think about that. No! I was so excited about Dragon Rage. Oh, this might actually be my, my run killer right here. I'm paralyzed and can't move. Of course I'm paralyzed and can't move. Oh, shoot. And that's the end of that one. Ah! So here's the strategy of going up here against Lieutenant Surge. I am going to send out Gyarados first, and essentially we're going to sack off Gyarados. <laughs> and the reason for that is because I don't have another way to safely get in Lavender, who has the freaking TM known as Dig that we got when we beat the crap out of the Team Rocket guy who destroyed the house of the person before, so that we could have her or him, whatever, learn this move. So, essentially, I need to sack off Lime so that I can send in Lavender, who will use Dig against the Raichu, which will then kill it. So, we're gonna go in, kill Lime, after we get rid of Voltorb and Pikachu with Lime, hopefully get some damage off, get Lavender in, use Dig, and then we should be able to take it out. Alright, Jesus! Please be on our side for this! Poor fa freaking boar! Alright, here we go. Voltorb is gonna be the first one here, so now we're gonna send out Lime, and he's gonna do what he's gonna do, which is bite and murder everybody. Tackle, it would be nice to not have to take that extra damage, but it's fine. Uh, we're also gonna come out here, have Pikachu, hopefully get destroyed. Nice! One hit! Love to freaking see it. Alright, let's see if we can get a little bit of chip damage off with one bite. Oh, a Thunder Shock instead of a Thunder Bolt! I don't know why the AI went for that, but... Oh, oh, oh. Beautiful! I wonder if I can switch in Lavender and not die, maybe? Maybe we can save line? Potentially. Let's find out. Ooh, that was a critical hit, though. Oof. And I'm paralyzed! God, that ruins the entire strategy. Oh, come on, come on, come on! Please don't get fully paired. If I get fully paired here, this is this this attempt is done. This attempt is done. Oh, enemy right choose attack, miss, as it should. Yes! Ah, oh, let's go! It's super effective! Sit the fuck down, right you! Sit down! Sit down! Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> Woo! Okay. Got it! Cool! In the bag! So we don't even- we didn't even have to sack off Lime! Lime was able to survive! Ah! Oh! So those of you who are watching probably were thinking, hmm, I don't like that she's gonna sack off Lime, but you know what? We didn't have to! Lime showed that they wanted to survive, and you know what? As a reward, we are going to teach Lime Bubble Beam. It's- it's just the way it is. Are you telling me that Thunderbolt can be learned by Lime? Okay, I was unaware that the mighty Lime could learn that. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I know that he can't learn Thunder Wave. Well, that's really awesome. Okay, well, yeah, we're gonna have him learn Bubble Beam as well. Because they just deserve it, and also Splash is useless. Alright, so the issue here is that getting through Rock Tunnel got both of my Pokemon up to level 29, which is the level cap, and I have to battle at least this trainer in order to get over to Erica. And I'm pretty sure that I'm probably gonna end up over-leveling on one of these guys, uh, which is not ideal, so essentially, 
I had to pick between whether I wanted lavender or whether I wanted lime to end up being the one over level that I can't use, and because the move pool on lime is so much vaster than lavender's, I'm going to just do that, so I kind of knew that that was going to have to happen. And now we can go up against Erica and hopefully not have an issue. Hello. Lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. Oh dear. I must have dosed off. Welcome. My name is Erica. I'm the leader of the Celadon Gym. I teach the art of flower arranging. My Pokemon are of the grass type. Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea that you wished to challenge me. Very well, but I shall not lose. But you're a joke, so... You definitely are going to lose. Alright. Victory Bell! She sent out her ace first. Awesome. Love to see it. Uh, we're just gonna straight up Dragon Rage and uh, murder you. Wow, you had a lot of HP. Not enough to be an issue, though. Alright, get rid of you. We're at level 30 now, which is fine. And then we'll just continue to do that. And boom! Erica defeated. Yes! Alright, done! So much easier than Lieutenant Surge. Oh my god! I love Lime and Lavender, but I would love to add another Pokemon to all of this. Poor for freaking more. Oh yes, please give me the Eevee. Oh, I would love to nickname the Eevee. What's another L color? Because I just realized we have alliteration with Lime and Lavender. Lilac? There we go. Alright, boom. We're gonna name you Lilac. Let's go ahead and use this Water Stone on Lilac. Beautiful. Oh, amazing. And then I can immediately start leveling it up as well. Vaporeon Lilac, let's go. All right, Mr. Gia Body Man. So, I must say, I am impressed you got here. I bet you are. Don't worry, Mr. Giovanni, we will make this quick. Giovanni sent out an Onyx, as is tradition. All right, let's go ahead and, uh, I love that my strongest water type move is still Water Gun on Lavender, and Kangaskhan gets right up too. There we go. Easy, I see that you raise, I see that you raise Pokemon with the utmost care. A child like you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step inside this time. I hope we meet again. Well, considering you're secretly the eighth gym leader, I 100% believe that we will. Oh my god, I forgot that Twitch was here! Ah! Which, by the way, I have a Twitch as well, so if you guys want to watch more Pokemon content and or other Pokemon games, because I am a variety streamer and just love Pokemon, feel free to uh, hit it up in the description down below. But for now, Twitch, we're gonna destroy you. Here we go. Woo, you got a Pidgeot now. Too bad I got Thunderbolt. Bye 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 bye. All right, Pidgeot is going to get freaking mollywopped here. Yup, goodbye. Oh, you have a Gyarados too? Good thing I have something that's four times effective against you. Very nice. You can use Hydro Pump against Growlithe because <laughs> who doesn't like being excessive? Sometimes it's good to be a little extra. All right, there we go. Alakazam. Ooh, he's got a real strong one there. However, ooh, even with the critical hit on Psybeam, we should be able to murder it here uh, with all of that. Oh my god, wow, that's actually a lot worse than I thought it was going to be. missed the razor win there. Oh my god. And then we defeated Twitch with that. Now Lime and Lavender are still alive. Rip. <laughs> Rip Lilac! Oh god, don't even talk to me. You killed one of my Pokemon. Granted, I should have healed them up before I uh, came to you, but uh, you know what? Just, I don't I don't want to hear it. Oh, hi, you're not a rocket. You're here to save me? Oh, amazing. Take this Pokemon. I forgot about Lapras! Yes! Okay, good, 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 good. So, even though Lilac died, it's it's whatever. All right, Lilac, rest in peace. I'll put you in the box, and it's it's fine. It is what it is. We can redeem ourselves, so let's see here. I googled colors that start with the letter, letter L, and apparently Lakipa is a color. I'm not exactly sure what Lakipa looks like, but I'm gonna trust the internet, because it knows everything and is never, ever, ever wrong. So, Lapras, your name is now Lakipa. 
Ah, oh, Lekka, so we meet again. The President and I are discussing a vital business proposition. Keep your nose out of grown-up matters, or experience a world of pain. I think you're the one that's about to experience a world of pain because I got La Keepa! Rest in peace, Lilac. But it's fine! Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, bro. I'm gonna ice beam your freaking face. Uh, you can fury attack me all you want, but I'm still going to destroy you. And whoo you think that you're gonna be better than me when I have more body slam than you? Okay, guess gone. All right, let's go ahead and ice beam this right on here. And then we only have one more, which is this Nido Queen, which granted is and could be kind of scary, but the fact you wasted the turn on a guard spec shows how inexperienced you are. Beautiful. Amazing. We defeated Giovanni, but for the second time, not the third time. Third time's eighth gym leader, which will be coming up in a little bit, I guess. All right, it's time to deposit Lilac. All right, here we go. We're gonna fight Sabrina. I had a vision of your arrival. I have had psychic powers since I was a child. I first learned to bend spoons with my mind. I just like fighting you, but if you wish, I will show you my powers. All right, girly. Oh, show me that whip. Let's go, let's do this. Go on, let's keep Why do I only have three body slams and five ice beams? I didn't go back and heal before I did this fight. Oh no, this could end really badly. Okay, can you please hurt yourself in confusion? Oh, please? Uh, I would love that. I see that you are recovering health. Uh, oh, that's great. Uh, can I just body slam and kill you instead? That'd be awesome. Okay, I'm gonna ice beam your face. Thank you. Wonderful. Love it. Venomoth, I'm also going to ice beam you. Please? Oh, and you paralyzed me. That's not fantastic. Okay, I might be paralyzed, but I can confuse you. Maybe? Alright, it confused and hurt itself in confusion. Perfect! I apparently did that twice and I didn't need to. Um, hello? I would love to do another body slam. This could be it. Oh, and I got fully paralyzed. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Um, let's go ahead and get... Okay, you can sideways me. That's fine. Dragon Rage does a guaranteed 40 damage. It looks like it's probably... Oh my god, in the range. Uh, maybe I can Hydro Pump? And then this will get it down. The fact that it uses Recover over and over again is quite annoying. Oh, don't crit, don't crit, don't crit, don't crit. Thank god. Okay, Hydro Pump. Come on, Alakazam. This Alakazam could absolutely end up killing one of my Pokemon, and I don't want that to happen. Oh, please survive! Lime, Lime, Lime! Come on, Slim! Oh, 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 oh. Living on just a little bit of HP, and we got the guaranteed knockout. That was way too close for comfort, but it's fine. And we didn't overlevel. Thank God. So we can go into Kiga uh, not having to worry about it. Oh, I'm shocked. I am also shocked. I came in here not even healed up with all my PP for my moves. Oh, that could have gotten a lot worse. Oh, the super rod! Yes! Oh my god, we can get another- we can get- we can fill up our team now. Woo! Okay! I don't, don't want to keep doing the L one, so we're just gonna name this one Red. Whoa! A mere child like you dare to challenge me! Very well, I shall show you true terror as a ninja master! You feel free to feel the depths of despair, poison, and slick techniques! Now, if anything, he could just be extremely annoying. I didn't even heal up before this fight. Oh, that's okay. Uh, we're gonna surf, surf away, surf away all of the despair. One shot it like the god that we are. Uh, let's see if we can one shot. No, but you're using an X attack. But I'm faster than you, so that just meant that that was the end of the road. I'm really glad that they stopped doing the whole thing where trainers, specifically gym leaders. Waste an entire turn using a thing. Okay. You ever just self-destruct and murder one of the newest Pokemon that you just added to your team? Oh my god. Well, let's go bury Red. And then move on to the next gym. Ah! Oh my god, thank you. It's a horsey. It's something other than a freaking fracking Pentacool, which I have seen so many dupes of. Rest in peace, Red. This is good, this is good, this is good. And we're going to name this horsey Yellow. Because I feel like it. There we go, it's an Omanyte! Yes! The Helix God! Ah, oh, we shall name you a beautiful, beautiful color um, of, of uh, something that's not blue. Um, orange, because nothing rhymes with orange. It is unique. Nothing rhymes with it within the English language because you are a one of the kind god. You heal like a beautiful bean. Lapras can learn solar beam? Really? I feel like I have to teach it to Lapras. 
Just because I can. Oh my god, that's cool. <laughs> I'm Blaine. I'm the leader of Cinnabar Gym. My fire Pokemon will incinerate all challengers. Ha! <laughs> you better have a burn heal. Well, considering how much you went through the effort of not wanting to do this, I don't know what you're doing here in your secret lab. Probably helping with the research for Mewtwo, but I'm not about it, good sir. I'm just gonna surf all of your freaking fracking cute patootie Pokemon into the ground. But good try. Try to learn Hydro Pump. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, Lakipa. You are gonna keep all the moves that you have. That's awesome. You're trying to learn it, but Surf is way more reliable. Oh, look at that sexy Rapidash. Dead. Look at that beautiful Arcanine. Dead. Oh, trying to burn us with some flamethrowers. Pretty nice, pretty nice, but good. Try no cigar. All right, let's beat the shit out of Giovanni for the last time. Whoa! <laughs> uh, this is my hideout. I plan to resurrect Team Rocket here, but you have caught me again. So be it. This time, I'm not holding back. What's more, you shall fight. Fight? Wait. Words are hard. Face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. All right, let's get this done, good sir. Goodbye. 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 And... Goodbye. And then also right on with Weekend Ice Beam and goodbye! Amazing. Ah, oh, what an intense fight. You have won as proof. Here is the Earth Badge. Success. Let's go ahead and fight our freaking frackin' rival here again. Come on, Twitch. Come on, Twitch! Let's go! I probably should have healed. Uh, ooh, I probably should have healed before doing this, but it's okay. Uh, oh, solar beam. You ever just take in sunlight against the Gyarados and then solar beam it? <laughs> With a Lapras? Oh, God, that's hilarious. Oh, I, I just had to. That was, it was, it was too, too good not to. I'm definitely gonna switch out, though. Uh, we're gonna switch out into Lime, into my own Gyarados. Ah, uh, fantastic times. All right, let's go ahead and hydro pump you. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa there, boo buckaroo. Holy shit. Okay, hold on. Just chill the fuck out. Um, what if we dig? Ooh, that did a good amount of damage. Boom. All right, let's try that again. Recover. He's gonna side beam me. Oh, it's a critical hit. Thank god. Dude, that psychic on Alakazam. It hits different. It really does. It hits, it hits different. All right, we're gonna go ahead and dig. It's gonna try and razor leaf me. It's super effective because it's part poison. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. It was a critical hit. Oh, the pain. Okay, well, you know what? And the helix gone! Oh my god, can we not? Holy, oh my god. dig as well. Oh my god. Uh, this is gonna be something. This is gonna be something. Alright, we're in the home stretch. So, I figured that I would tell you guys what it is that I kind of have with my plan for my Pokemon. So, as you can kind of see with my layout as my cat moves all over the place. Hi, Poggy. Yeah, nice to see you. We have brown, chartreuse, yellow, Lakipa, which I still don't know what kind of color that is. Purple and black. Uh, and here's what they look like and kind of what my strategy is going into all of these things. So we have Cloyster. I was debating whether to catch Kingler or to get a Cloyster on my team, but I could not get over that spicy, thick, beautiful, delicious 251 defense that we have brown going on over here. Its speed isn't anything great. It's 110. Not super awesome, but it's whatever. Um, its attack is 148 and its special is 156, so it's kind of a mixed attacker. Uh, it does know Aurora Beam because... <laughs> We already used Ice Beam and Blizzard on Pokemon that are dead. Rest in peace, Helix, our Lord and Savior Orange. Uh, and no Spike Cannon as well for some extra ones. And then it knows um, Try Attack, because I figured, why not? Um, if I could get some cheeky statuses off, if I have to go up and I'm trying to wall something that's physically defensive, like when we're going up against Bruno, I can. Um, 
maybe that'll be cool. And then Surf, of course, because basically everybody here knows Surf. Uh, same with here with Chartreuse. Um, it had something really good with its special, but it's kind of just there as a as a sack. <laughs> if I need to kill something and I'm not super upset about something I needs to die, it's gonna be Dugong because it's lackluster in every other category. It knows Rest, Surf, Ice Beam, Headbutt, um, which is nice, but yeah, if something needs to die, it's definitely gonna be Chartreuse. Yellow is looking pretty darn nice. Our Seedra with 156 speed. Spicy. It's gonna be very fast, and because it's super fast, I taught it Toxic because if I'm going to be outspeeding things, then I can Toxic them, make them lower in their stats, whatever, and we can go forward with that. Hydro Pump, Surf, Water Gun, it knows a lot of water type moves, uh, but there wasn't anything else I could really teach it. Uh, so it's kind of our heavy, fast attacker of Hydro Pump or Surf, but uh, going in fast with Toxic is mostly what I wanted to use it for. And then of course we have Lakiba! We don't know what you are, and I'm sure everybody's gonna Google what you are after this, because I know I am, but whatever. Uh, it's special to 165, which is really nice, but it's a thickums. Look at that HP, 267 HP. Looking really, really nice. And know, Surf, Solar Beam, Ice Beam, and Strength. So three of those four moves are special, because in this gen, special and physical are dependent on the type of move that it is. So Strength is a physical attacking move, but even then, its attack is 130, so I'm not too upset about it. If we go up against something with its defense being really, really low, like Alakazam, then I'm going to go ahead and attack it on the physical side with strength, and we should do pretty okay with that. Purple, we have uh, coming on in here with 186 speed. It is the fastest thing that I have on this team. It is going to be rock and surf, psychic, minimize, and recover, because if I can get some cheeky minimizes off, recover myself when I do get hit by minimize, and then just go in and wreck shop with surf and psychic, because my special is 167. That's kind of what we're looking for right now. And then black is our Poliwhirl, who has 145 attack, which is pretty nice. 129 special is mess and good defense and, and HP. And no strength, submission, surf, and earthquake, because I got that from Victory Road, and I figured, well, We'll do that. All right, there's uh, Pocky Meows in the background. Uh, it's looking pretty nice, so obviously we're going to want to use that more as a physical attacker rather than a special attacker, but if I have to use a special attack, 129 isn't too bad. So, without further ado, let's go take on the Elite Four. I'm Lorelai of the Elite Four. No one beats me when it comes to icy Pokemon. Freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be at my mercy when they are frozen solid. <laughs> Are you ready? So, I sent Lakeepa out because uh, it's really not going to be too bad. Growl! Okay. Um, not very effective, and it used rest. So it looks like our best bet is definitely going to be strength. Even though it lowered our physical attack. Ooh! Look at that sexy crit. It's not going to be able to rest up again. Because... Even with two crits in a world, Lakeepa! Love to see it. Alright, Cloyster has really, really good defense. So we're going to have to... Uh, attack it on its special side instead. I'm gonna need you to break through confusion here, Lakipa. Oh, you god! Let's go. Alright, that's Cloyster gone. Now, we are still confused, and uh, this is a bulky Pokemon on the special side. Slowbro with nothing to sneeze at, so... Lakipa's no more confused! Let's go! Good job, Lakipa. Oh my gosh, and its special went up because of Amnesia. Ooh, okay. I wonder... If I just continue to use strength on it, critical hit again, let's go. Um, it's special partially fell. I feel like I'm just gonna have to spam strengths over and over. All right, there we go. We were able to get that, which is really, really nice. And now we can face Jinx here, which uh, I should be able to probably take out with some surfs because my attack has been lowered twice now with Growl. Yep, there it is. So that shouldn't pose too much of an issue. And then her own Lapras, which, <laughs> uh, if it's anything like ours, is really good on the special side. Uh, so we should probably strength it up. Oh, paralyzed and can't move because it actually knows Body Slam. That makes sense. All right, I think it's actually time for Brown to come out because if she wants to keep using Body Slams, this is the most physically defensive thing that I can possibly think of to have on my team, so. All right, let's see. It's not very effective, but it sure does more damage. All right, we're just gonna keep going and try and break through Terra. There we go. All right, perfect. We have Bruno here, so of course I'm going to be leading with Starmie, aka Purple. I am Bruno of the Elite Four. Through rigorous training, people in Pokemon can become stronger. I've weight trained with my Pokemon, Lekka. We will grind you down with our superior power. Hoo-ha! All right, you show me that, Bruno. You show me that to be true. 
I'm going to surf all over you and destroy your onyx, and then we have Hitmonchan, where I'm going to Psychic, and this should also one-shot. I should be able to one-shot all of your Pokemon with purple here. Yep. All right, next. Uh, you send out a Hitmonchan. I should also be able to Psychic one-shot you. Yep. Easy peasy. Nice. And then Onyx. Again, it's almost like Onyx is a terrible Pokemon. One shot with Surf. Yup. And then... Who next? Machamp! Oh! Look at that thing! Unfortunately, also going to go down to a Psychic because it's special. Not that great. Alright, super effective. Done. Easy. How's that grounding me into the ground go? I am Agatha, the Elite Four. I was taking a lot of interest in you, child. That old duck was once tough and handsome. Ah, that was decades ago. Now he just wants to fiddle with his Pokedex. He's wrong! Pokemon off of fighting! Lekka, I will show you how a real trainer fights. Okay, Agatha, sure. Let me just, uh, get rid of all of your Pokemon here. Like, your Gengar. This isn't even her ace Gengar. This is the first weak Gengar. Uh, but that's alright. Uh, I kinda wanna surf you. Even though I know that, uh, it wasn't gonna be a one-shot because I wanna save some more of my stuff. I will Psychic the Haunters and whatnot because I do not want to be put to sleep with Hypnosis Dream Eater shenanigans. Arbok, you're not that great, so I'm also going to just surf you. Oh, it was a crit! Let's go Starmie! That's purple, get it! Ooh, we're level 64 now. Uh, still trying to be under the level cap. I'm not going to get my Pokemon to be up to level 65 until we get to Lance's room, and then I'll do that. Alright, uh, and then we're just gonna Psychic. Yeah, easy peasy. Ah, I heard about you, Lekka. I lead the Elite Four. You can call me Lance, the Dragon Trainer. You know that dragons are mythical Pokemon. They're hard to catch and race, but their powers are superior. They're virtually indestructible. Well, are you ready to lose? Your League Challenge ends with me, Lekka. I highly doubt that, but sure. Alright, Lance, let's do this. He's gonna send out his Gyarados first, which is why I'm leading with Brown, because I have a super strong defense and he knows Hyper Beam, which I don't want. So we're gonna attack it with our Aurora Beams and uh, get it down a little bit. Super effective, yep. I figured he was gonna hit me with Hyper Beam, which is fine, because I tanked that like a god! Brown showing that it is not gonna be taking shit from anybody. Boom! Three hit KO, easy peasy, done, out the gate. Alright, Dragonair is now coming in. I can also just Aurora Beam this to death because Ice Beam super effective against these guys. And I'm still not at the level cap, which is super great. Uh, Dragonair, we're going to Aurora Beam again. Easy freaking peasy! Alright, and then Aerodactyl. Also, same thing. I'm gonna Aurora Beam you to death. <laughs> um, probably same thing here. Uh, just one shot you. Alright, there we go, and we didn't hit the level cap, which is great, you just Aurora Beam everybody, and because of how physically defensive Brown was, the Gyarados was not a problem. I still can't believe my dragons lost to you, Lekka. You are now the Pokemon League Champion, or you would have if one more challenge did not lay ahead. You have to face another trainer, his name is Twitch! He beat the Elite Four before you, he is the real Pokemon League Champion. Of course he is. Alright, Twitch, you have freaking stalled me for too long, which, I mean, you fuck with me all the time considering I'm a streamer as a full-time occupation. <laughs> um, I know about that pretty well, but anyway. Hey, I was looking forward to seeing you, Lekka. My rival should be strong to keep me sharp. While working on the Pokedex, I looked all over for powerful Pokemon. Not only that, but I assembled teams that would beat any Pokemon type, and now I am the Pokemon League Champion. Lekka, do you know what that means? I'll tell you, I am the most powerful trainer in the world. Are you now? I'm about to whoop your ass with an all-water team. That has a dugong on it. You tell me how that makes you feel. Alright, we're gonna still leave with brown. I didn't change Pokemon. Uh, ooh, I'm surprised that that did not <laughs> end up murdering them, but uh, we'll do it again. He's gonna wing attack me, which again is gonna do basically nothing. Uh, we're gonna continue to do that. We have Alakazam! Alright, so this is what I want to try attack for because this hits on the physical side and Alakazam's defense is horrible. Ah, uh, which is why then he used Reflect. Uh, that's fine. We're still going to use Psy Beam. I'm surprised he didn't use Psychic. Ooh, decent, decent. Alright, we're still gonna use Tri Attack though. Nice. Okay, it's gonna be another Oko. Or a three, three hit KO. I wish it was an Oko. <gasps> Critical hit! Oh shit! Brown saying nope, not today, Satan! Okay, Alakazam was the one I was the most worried about. We're level 66, but it's fine. The rules don't mean that I can't use it anymore. That basically just means I leveled up in here. As long as I'm at the level cap or below the level cap, when you go into the battle with the person, if you level up during it, it's allowed. So we're gonna go ahead and surf on this right on here with our super fast purple, who's actually one level under the cap. 
Get that Oko, let's go, before we can try and do any cheeky horn drills, because the last thing I want to do is lose a Pokemon getting this far with some bullshit like that. Psychic on the Gyarados, which is stronger than Lance's Gyarados. Still pretty strong. Hyper Beam, and it missed! Oh, feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. Get out of here, Gyarados. Alright, easy freaking peasy. And then Arcanine, again, we're just gonna surf on it and murder that super dead. And then, who's the last one? Venusaur, which, again, we're gonna go Psychic on it. It'll be super effective. This should one-shot the Venusaur, if not two-shot it. There it is. Out of here. Super effective. And that's it! We're done! We didn't even need to sack off Chartreuse. Love to see it. Good shit! Good job! Good job! Alright, so that is our blue version mono water type hardcore nuzlocke challenge completed! I may or may not have lost some bad Pokemon along the way, aka our starter. Rest in peace, Lavender, Helix God, and everybody else that I accidentally killed, like Lime. But you know what? It's okay! We're gonna go uh, do the League things. Professor Oak's gonna take us through and... Um, yeah, that'll be it. Uh, I'm going to be, oh, look at this, beautiful, beautiful Hall of Fame, doing another one of these. We're going to be doing the red version, and I'm going to be trying to do a mono fire type, which I fully plan on getting mollywopped at Misty's Gym a lot. I thought that Lieutenant Surge was going to be more challenging than it was. By that, I mean I didn't think that my strategy was going to work immediately. <laughs> I 100% thought that my strategy was going to end up being... One that I had to retry about 17 attempts for, so the fact that we did this on the third one is kind of crazy. I expect really high numbers of death and attempts because of Misty's Gym for our fire run, but we'll see. We'll also get to have Moltres on, so we'll deal with those challenges as they come, because there's very, very few fire-type Pokemon, so we'll see what happens. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe if you're excited for the next episode that's going to be coming out soon. I'm also going to be doing other themed Nuzlocks for other games as well, because I love doing hardcore Nuzlocks, and I've always wanted to uh, show my love to everybody else. So, thank you guys for being here. I appreciate you. Make sure to follow me on all my different socials if you want to catch me live on Twitch. Links are in the description down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!